Hello everyone, it's Andre here from SWL and today I'm taking a deep dive into the new Chodosen DX286. I've had my SR286 for quite some time now and I just want to say right away I bought this one with my own money. It cost me almost $200 including the import duties that I had to pay here in South Africa. I loved it from the get-go. I have many, many videos on my channel, many comparisons. You can see a lot of stuff that I picked up with this one. So everything that I'm saying today about the DX286, a lot of that will be based on my previous experience with the SR286. Now the DX286 was sent to me by the company. So it is a review copy. And that is why I mentioned that this one was bought with my own money. My impressions here are based on my own experience and my own feelings. I am not being influenced by the fact that this one was sent to me as a review copy. So if you are a regular viewer on my channel, you will know I love radios. I keep buying stuff. I keep testing radios. I want to find the next best radio that can help me pick up really distant shortwave and medium wave signals because that is my main interest. So I use a lot of radios and I have a lot of favorites. I mean, something like this little Eaton Elite Traveler. It's one of my favorites. And these Texan radios, the PL-36 series, like the PL-360 and the PL-368. I love them. They're very good. And also the XH Data D808. It is one of my favorite radios. Then the Chodosin came along. And I can honestly say, I mean, I will give it away and people who know my channel will know that already. This is my go-to radio now. I just seem to come back to this one all the time when I want to do my DXing. It's sensitive. It really picks up signals. It's not noisy. And it's very handy size, compact, good sound. It's just a wonderful radio. And maybe just one more thing that's important. I'm just a regular DXer. I live in a small housing estate in Johannesburg. I don't have space to put up massive antennas outside. I often do my DXing indoors. I use a long wire that I put up discreetly outside, so that works. But I think I sort of do what most people do when we are DXing. We don't have huge antennas. We just DX indoors. Sometimes it rains. We cannot go outside. Sometimes we are too busy to go to the park. You want to do a bit of DXing at night. You just do it somewhere in your house. So in real world conditions, that is how I tested this one. And that is why I can say without a shadow of a doubt that this is one of the best DXing radios that you can get. It works wonderfully here in the urban environment where I am. Even better if you take it outside, but compared to everything else I have, it's just great. What I'm going to address mostly in this video are all the questions that you have about the DX286 and also the SR286, the same radio. These two radios are exactly the same. You can see I have a comparison video between these two. You can go and watch it and you will see the performance is the same. So I've already tested this one extensively in the sense that I've used my SR286 extensively. Many of you have had questions about the SR286 and what I did, I spoke to the company directly to get some answers for those questions. So in this video, I will answer your questions. I'll also give you some really interesting background about where this radio came from. And then at the end of the video, we'll have a quick band scan, FM, shortwave and medium wave. And then if you wanna see more tests, you can just look at some of my other videos where I've already done a lot of tests. But let's start with where this radio comes from. Some people have asked me, who is this company? Who is Chodosen? The chief engineer of this radio, Mr. Deping Zhang, is someone who has extensive radio experience. He worked for Red Sun Radio before, and then he moved to Texan, where he worked for about 10 years, and he designed some of the most famous, most well-known radios in the shortwave world. Designed and engineered. He is a DXer himself, he's a radio enthusiast, 
And some of that actually played a role in how the DX286, well, initially the SR286, and then the DX286 came about. I will tell you that story in a little while. So some of the famous radios that have been designed by Mr. Deping Zhang are the C-Crane radios, the Eaton Elite series radios, XH data radios, the D808 is one, the R108 is one. So he has a lot of experience in designing these radios. His brother, Mr. Dean Zhang, who is the person that I spoke to via email with my questions, explained that, as we all know, shortwave radio listening is not as popular as it used to be. So many of the companies either closed down or they scaled down. They're not focusing so much on radios anymore, on shortwave radio anymore. And Mr. Zhang, he and his brother and some other people, they formed a company in China where they now design radios on their own. And they do this now for the big companies like XH Data. And that's how they've come to design some of the well-known XH Data radios, for example, that we know. This is the first radio that they produced under their own brand, the Chodosin. So that is why it sort of came out of the blue. But it's not something that comes from inexperienced people. It's people who have a lot of radio design and engineering experience. Now, Mr. Dean Zhang told me that his brother, Mr. Deping Zhang, is a radio enthusiast and he wanted to catch long wave signals from Mongolia. However, none of the radios on the market worked on long wave or worked very well. We all know that. I mean, one of the most popular DXing radios is the XH Data D808. It's not very good on long wave. And Mr. Zhang therefore decided to design a radio that would help him to catch those long wave signals from Mongolia. He became aware of the TEF6686 chip. And during the COVID period, when everyone was in lockdown, he worked on designing a radio using that TEF6686 chip. That chip is made for car radios, very, very sensitive, and he came up with this one, the Chudosen SR286. So, yeah, this one. Then this year, the DX286 with nice accessories was released. Like this carry case, very nice. You can pack the radio inside there, nice and small. That, in short, then, is how this radio came about. It was designed by an enthusiast. It was designed using the TEF6686 chip. Very, very sensitive chip. But there are questions. And there have been questions since the release of the SR286. The two major questions are why there is no SSB on this radio and why it doesn't ship with a battery. So I asked Mr. Dean Zhang to explain this. The SSB... The reason why there is no SSB is because the TEF6686 chip was created for car radios. Car radios don't use shortwave. However, the TEF6686 chip can handle shortwave, which you can find on this radio, but it was not designed with SSB capabilities. So you cannot add SSB to the TEF6686 chip as it is now. And that is the reason why there is no SSB. Mr. Dean Zhang said, however, that a lot of people have indicated that they want SSB and the company is working on that. They might be releasing another radio or a newer radio that will have SSB capability. I don't miss the SSB on this radio because it really helps me pick up signals that I haven't heard before. And that's the fun. That's the point. It's a little bit like returning to when I was young, when I had a very simple radio and I just listened to shortwave signals. Didn't even know about SSB back then. Had a lot of fun. This one gives me that again. So if that's your interest, then yes, by all means, this is your radio. You're going to be very, very happy with it. Now, the other question that a lot of people had is why is there no battery? Why doesn't it ship with a battery? And Mr. Dean Zhang explained that in China, um, shipping radios with batteries is problematic. They decided that internationally they will also not ship it with batteries. Therefore, they realized that was a mistake. They realized that internationally there are standards for shipping batteries. 
and they will probably in future start shipping with a battery so yeah that might solve that issue for now though still not shipping with a battery so you will have to buy your own battery so what i will do now before i give you my final conclusion and my final verdict is just a very quick scan we're going to look at some fm stations some shortwave stations and some medium wave stations as what it is in the in the masoretische text johan baie dankie ek dink is belangrik dat ons ons luisteraars bietjie hier help want Ek dink heel wat luisteraars het die, het die beeld in hulle kop van... Ek sal sien, maar hier sal een skeerkie hier begin die bladseie verdun en al die dinge wat met ons moderne papier gebeur. So, die brief kom daar. Ek sal nou moet kyk hoe hanteer hulle dit, as hulle nou self vijf of... Hoe gaan die ministers daai type van goed die onthaalrekeninge en al daai goed hanteer, dit gaan baie interessant raak. Ja, uh, uh, um, Suzanne, jy het ons nou oor die nationale dialoog hier. Ek wil nog oor die kabinet ook praat, want ek dink dit is een proces. Especially at this time of the year where we're just uh, one or two days away from the first day of Hajj, uh, a very blessed period, a very blessed time and, um, you know, great Mubarak for those that are actually uh, undertaking the great journey of Hajj. Uh,
巡礼の都市第1弾政府から第3曲パストラーピアノはアルフレッド・グレンでしたもう一度はじめやはりギャップないこのジャンマンのパッドがこのファイルをバッターをするとこのバッターをアンディキンザーパッシュカルパッパシュトルギャップセーズンのコンマスカタクルオチコンマスアレキタコーマスマスターヨトシュインボロスパタルのコンマバッターにアダルジンイネキンズ
الخلايا وكتبت لها انها يا برو ما يجيبوا ما يلاقي حد يقول كل حد لا يقول الحق انا قلنا فكر ما يلاقي حد La maison de la chaîne à Paris. Et puis, déjà, quelques jours plus tard, ce week-end, Yuri Fifi, euh, cinq députés sortants, euh, euh, et la France insoumise considérée comme des frondeurs. So, in conclusion, the million dollar question, which is what some people have asked me, is this the best DXing radio in the market right now? It's a difficult question to answer in some ways because people are very subjective about radios. It really depends on a lot of factors. It depends on where you are. It depends on the RFI in your location. It does depend to a certain extent on antennas and what you use. This one handles external antennas exceptionally well. My view is that, yes, currently in the market, I have seen enough other reviews from people Comparing this to radios that I do not own, like the Texan PL990, generally the consensus seems to be that this one currently pretty much beats everything else in the market. I agree with that. On medium weight, absolutely without a doubt. I have the Sanjian PRD4W, which is a powerhouse for medium wave listening. Excellent radio. This one is better. On shortwave, all my mini tests that I have done, and you can see on my channel all the videos that I've listed for you in this description, pretty much 90% of the time this one beats everything else on shortwave. There are times when some of the other radios do seem to pick up signals a little bit better. That depends, I suppose, on, on various factors. But in general, overall, most of the time, this one on shortwave is better. On FM, I'm not an FM DXer. But it does pick up very distant FM signals, which none of my other radios can do. So my assumption is that for FM DXing, it probably will work very well. That's not things that I know much about, but I'm sure it will. On long wave, I haven't had any catches yet. I just don't seem to be able to catch long wave stations here in South Africa. Maybe I will at some point. But again, I know people in the US, for example, they've picked up long wave stations from Algeria, from Europe, in the US on this one. So it does work on long wave as well. Therefore, my final conclusion, I think depending on what you want, this might very well be the best DXing radio that you can get right now in the market. With all those features that it's got as well, stuff that I've discussed in other videos, feature rich, sensitive, compact, easy to use once you get the hang of it, great radio for people who enjoy regular broadcast DXing.